Scaffolding. This is the scaffolding section of the pricing sheet. Due to the intuitive nature of the NHE Plus, we will notice that as we go further down the pricing sheet, the information that we actually need to enter decreases. And as in the case of the scaffolding, we just need to check the details that have been calculated for us. If for any reason we don't need to allow for scaffolding in our quote, we can switch this off by unticking this box here. As a rule, scaffolding is usually subcontracted out and the price that is given by the subcontractor is generally square metre based and inclusive of the plant and the labour. To ensure that the scaffolding is dealt with correctly in our summary and work schedule, the square metre price needs to be broken down and this is dealt with here. By default, 25% of the square metre price is allocated to plant and 75% of it is assigned to labour. We will notice that the plant percentage is in a yellow box. So we can change this setting if we want, or we can click on this picture. Look, we'll adjust the plant percentage to 30. See, the labour instantly changes to 70% and the pie chart adjusts accordingly. The labour will automatically change to ensure the total remains at 100%. The NHE Plus has worked out the quantity of scaffolding we will need in metres square by using the information that we've already entered in the wall section. This is a yellow box, indicating that we may want to check this. By default, the type of static scaffolding is set as putlog. We can use the drop-down menu and change this to freestanding if we want. If we don't need any type of static scaffolding, we can switch it off and the costs will all be removed. Portable scaffolding can be priced. Just select the type in the yellow drop-down menu, enter the number of days it will be required in this blue box and the number of hours needed to erect it here. There is an option for scaffold trestles. By default, it is switched off, but let's switch it on and take a look. Let's click the question mark. OK, so here is the spacing between the trestles. We can change this if we want. This is the number of boards wide it will be. Again, fully adjustable. This is quite a complex calculation. The NHE Plus is again using the information we've already entered, so it knows the size of the building from the details we put into the walls section. It then works out not only the trestles we'll need, but the boards as well. We can change the type of board. The programme will instantly convert the length into metres for us to perform its calculation. The blue text in this picture provides further information and we can also click the red question mark to view additional information on how the programme is calculating. OK, we aren't using trestles, so I'll just switch this back off. We have looked into and checked the details, but as we've seen, the scaffolding is basically calculated for us when we arrive at this pricing section. We can add an extra row to this section if we want, and the totals for the plant, hours, labour and overall total are located here.